to find the oxidation numbers in each element here in K2SO4, this is potassium sulfate, we'll use these rules here. So one rule to remember is that this is a neutral compound. There's no plus or minus sign up here, so it's a neutral compound. All these oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. We can also look down and we see that group one, potassium, that's in group one on the periodic table, that has a plus one oxidation number. For SO4, that's called the sulfate ion. And you could look that up on a table of common polyatomic ions. So we can see that sulfate right here, that has a minus two charge. So let's remember that. So if an ion, like sulfate, all the oxidation numbers add up to the charge on the ion. So this will be, this whole SO4, that'll be minus two. That'll be the oxidation numbers. And this all makes sense because we have two times plus one. That gives us plus two. Then we have this minus two here. They all add up to zero because it's a neutral compound. If you want to find the oxidation numbers just for each of the elements here in the sulfate ion, there's a card right up here you can look and watch a video on how to do that. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for K2SO4, potassium sulfate. Thanks for watching.